Welcome to Tuesday. It's another good day. <laughs> I say that every day, and it is. Uh, I guess you're just kind of glad to be alive. I am. Anyway, come on in for a minute on this good day. Let's share a moment together. Let's share a thought. I was thinking about something I came across some time ago. It had a lot to do with advertising. You know, uh, look at Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 let your light so shine that men might see your good works and glorify your father who's in heaven great passage reminds us you know just because you let people see what you're doing in a positive way and recognize it and honor it doesn't mean you're arrogant you do it for the right cause and that's a good thing Sometimes we're a little bit hesitant. We like to be a little bit anonymous in a way. And yet sometimes we like to be patted on the back for what we're doing too. Uh, be, both cases are okay, good in most circumstances. But anyway, Jesus also advocated to his disciples when you get over to John chapter 10. As he sent them out with a mission, he said, whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. Whatever you hear in the ear, preach it on the housetop. He was sending them out to make something known, broadcast it, let people hear it, let people know it. It wasn't going to come to them by osmosis. It was going to be because somebody advertised it. I heard a story, and that's the one I was going to refer to. I heard a story some time ago about Philip Wrigley, son of William Wrigley, chewing gum magnet, made a fortune, became philanthropist in a big way and so forth. Anyway, the story goes, Philip Wrigley was on an airline flight. And as he was going, he was speaking to a companion on the plane next to him and they were in discussion for a while. And the fellow asked him a question. He said, you know, he said, you know, you guys have been in business for a long time. You built up a fortune. Everybody knows your product. But it seems like everywhere you go, there are signs and radio announcements, everything. Your chewing gum is advertised everywhere. Why do you spend so much money? Because that has to cost a fortune. Why do you spend so much money on advertising? Wrigley looked at him and he said, you know, we're flying in a very nice airplane. And its streamlined design is marvelous. But how far would it fly if you turned off the engines? It would still be the same airplane. It would still have all the wonderful accoutrements that it has. It would still be as aerodynamic as ever. But you know, if we shut down the en engines, it's not going to fly very far. Said advertising is the engine that drives our company forward. Makes a certain amount of sense. If people don't hear about it, they can't know about it. If they don't know about it, they're not going to respond to it. When it comes to commercial products, if they don't know it's there, they're not going to buy it. But if they know it's there, they're going to look for it. And they just might buy it. If you think about how many people chewed Wrigley's gum, you understand how advertising works. It's that idea, let your light shine. My mother had a way of saying it. I don't know where she picked up the old line. I've shared it a lot of times, and you, many of you have heard me say it. He that tooteth not his own horn, the same shall not be tooted. In other words, if you don't tell people what you know, they're not going to know it, and they're not going to recognize that you know it. Sometimes you got to put it out there, let people know. Show them, put on the display, advertise, and then people will respond. There's a whole lot of good about that to be said. It's kind of what Jesus was saying to his disciples, wasn't it? I'm sending you out because you got to make it known. If you don't make it known, it just won't happen. I came across a listing of some of the best advertising slogans and, and, uh, the last many years. Here, here's some of See if you recognize it. Just do it. Nike. Think different. Apple. And who can forget 
Where's the beef with Clara Peller? Wendy's. Open happiness. Coca-Cola. For the ladies, L'Oreal. Because you're worth it. And you know this one. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. M&Ms. And for those of you with a little bit of money to spend, a diamond is forever. That was De Beers, the diamond company. Or Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Dunkin' Donuts had a winner when they said America runs on Dunkin'. And how can we forget the annoying sound of Verizon Wireless? Can you hear me now? <laughs> In other words, these advertising slogans brought their products to life, got the attention of the public. I know some of them kind of turn us off in a way because they're so annoying. Others catch our attention and we remember them down the road. I can't forget McDonald's. You deserve a break today. So get out and get away to McDonald's. You thought I was going to sing right there, didn't you? Well, I would have, but you might have shut me off right then. Seriously, it's important that people know. We don't want to be anonymous about the important things in life. Yeah, there's some things we might just be patting ourselves on the back and trying to build ourselves up, but when it's important, it's okay to let people know. It's okay to put, on, put out the show and let them see what you're doing. They might see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. When they know what you stand for, when they know who you stand for, and when they can see what you're doing, people are more inclined to be drawn, impressed, and even participate. You don't have to be a barker at a, at a carnival calling people over and shouting over the crowds. Just let them know, and they'll be drawn to see what's going on right there with you. Let your light shine. Speak or preach on the housetops. Let them hear what we've got to say. Your life's important. What you do is important. Let people know what's important in your life. Hey, that's the engine that drives it, as Wrigley said. I'm glad you were with me today. It's a good day. Maybe it's going to even be a better day. <laughs> Let's keep going forward. We'll share some more things down the road. Glad you were with me today. I'll see you later.